Hello everyone and welcome to my first tutorial video. One of you requested that I show you how to add land bridges to Rome Total War and I thought doing it with a comment would have been way too complicated and hard so I chose to do it with a tutorial video. First of all you need uh, one of these two programs either GIMP or Photoshop. The main difference between these two programs is that GIMP is a free program whereas uh, Photoshop requires you to either pay money or get it illegally. But with this tutorial I'm gonna go with Photoshop because that's how I did it. So what you need to do is to cl right click on the shortcut of your game. Important thing is to just go to the games folders, folder but this is the quick way to do it. And click open file location. Then click data and world maps base this is the folder that we need to work in. Now online tutorials uh, tell you all about all these steps that you need to do in different files that I found out that are really not necessary. All you need to do, all the changes you need to do are in one file and that is map heights. This is the file that we need to work on and nothing else. Before you start doing anything, uh, right click on this file and do, uh, do this add to map heights dot uh, this is my way of uh, making backup files just in case you mess things up and the game doesn't work you can always backtrack you using this way just add it to it and if you mess up just extract the files and you'll get your original file so what you need to do is uh, right click it open with photoshop or gimp whatever suits you once inside Photoshop, you grab the zoom tool and zoom wherever you want to add the land bridge. Now uh, we're gonna add a land bridge between uh, Italy and Greece. So the the good thing about Photoshop is once you zoom in, you get these uh, squares uh, that each rep represent a pixel in the picture, which makes uh, things easier to do. So the next step is grab this tool and take the black color just uh, sample the black color here and then grab the pencil now zoom in even closer uh, grab the pencil and draw a bridge from here to here now there are two ways to do this you either uh, grab the sampling tool again sample this col this uh, deep blue color here and grab the pencil again and surround the black line you drew with uh, with this color without if you don't surround the black line with this color the the land bridge will be there but you won't be able to cross it uh, another way to do this is to simply uh, hold on simply uh, grab the pencil again and just draw a second line now let's uh, this will widen the land bridge graphically and will uh, and the bridge will be passable but it will look bigger if you want it to look smaller do the first way i told you i'm gonna back up from this step and i will show you why in a minute we're gonna stick with this uh, I'll, i will show you why in a minute now after this step just click file save as grab the file itself map heights and save over it if you don't if you don't grab the file, Photoshop will save it as a Photoshop file. Uh, if you work on the program, you'll know what that means. Before you start the game or before you start a new game, uh, delete this file. Uh, if you don't delete this file, you won't see any changes in the game, in the map. Here we are inside the game. Let's attempt to start a new game and see if our changes appear. Here we are inside the game and as you can see, the land bridge did not appear why well no online tutorial says this and i don't know why but for some reason you need to delete this file over here i don't know why but it prevents any changes to the map heights file uh, from showing up you'll always get the original map heights file no matter what you do so you need to delete this file this also means that whenever you want the original map without any changes just bring back the file from the uh, recycling bin or just if you have it uh, anywhere backed up also don't forget to re-delete this file every time you want to see changes to the map now we're inside the game let's see if the bridge appears at this time so now after deleting that file as you can see the bridge now appears and you can see the borders redrawn on it 
and just to make sure this is the army as you can see now we can cross it one thing to note is as you can see here is the uh, port for Tarentum now why when I was explaining the two black lines thing I told you to not do it for this particular case uh, it's because if you add the black line here uh, above this first one it will intersect with the port and this will make the game crash whenever you try to start it, the game will crash don't add land where wherever there are towns or there are ports especially ports try to avoid the ports as much as possible and whenever the game crashes after you try adding a new land bridge 90% of the time it's because you've intersected with a port that's it that's all you need to do to add land bridges don't forget to make sure after adding each one that it can actually be crossed for example when I was adding a land bridge between Spain and Morocco I added it here but when I entered the game I realized that uh, you can't actually cross it because there are mountains so I had to widen it or make it from one place to another and so on that's pretty much everything you need to know hopefully this tutorial was helpful if there's any other modification or trick you want me to show you let me know and I'll make sure to make a video on it don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video